You look tired. So do you. Yes. Why do I seem sluggish? No. Just calm. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Harold. You have to die. What? I, I am sorry, but uh, it's it's my masterpiece. Harold is brilliant. What, 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 what do you mean? It, it's possibly the most important novel of my career, and <laughs> it's absolutely meaningless unless you die at the end. I don't care. Oh, Harold, you don't understand. No, I understand. Yeah, I just been, don't care. I've been over it again and again, and I know, I know how hard this must be for you to hear, but your life no one's life is more important than this book. So you're asking me to knowingly face my death? Yes. I, I thought you, you would find something, or I would, I would hope that you would find something that maybe we could, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I am sorry. Well, can't we? Can we? Can we erase it? Harold, it wouldn't matter. It, it, it does matter. It, it would matter. No. I, I could change. I can be someone else. I mean, I, I, I could go away, quit my job. I can even fall in love. But please, I, I just, I can't die, not right now. Not while I'm starting to live. It's, 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 just, it's just really bad timing. Nobody wants to die, but unfortunately we can't avoid it. Hello, hello, listen to me. You will die someday, sometime. Heart failure at the bank. Uh, choke on a mint. Some long, drawn-out disease you contracted while on vacation. You will die. You will absolutely die. And even if you avoid this death, another will eventually find you. And I can guarantee you, it won't be nearly as poetic or as meaningful No. No. I am sorry, Harold. It's the nature of all great tragedy. The hero dies, but the story lives on forever.